it. You know, like Roswell is like what people think of when they think of like UFOs in in the forties. But you know, a lot of people don't realize is that the the Northwest had three major sightings and events happen before Roswell. So there, there's this rivalry going on, and as a kind of a, a fun thing, we decided to travel to Roswell, New Mexico, to start a good natured turf war between the Northwest and the Southwest, kind of like Biggie <laughs> and Tupac. You know, and yeah, we you guys- basically went down there. You brought out your protest signs and the whole thing and went to Roswell. I loved it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We made protest signs. We, we uh, left uh, letters of protest on the door of the city hall in Roswell. It was all, <laughs> all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, that was just an amazing trip. We, uh, I do have to give a shout-out to uh, one of our benefactors uh, for this, uh, Jeremy Rule of the uh, Great Northwest Band, Tinkham Road, he offered up a whole bunch of frequent flyer miles to allow us to fly down to Phoenix, Arizona, from where we rented the car and drove to Roswell. So I just want to give a big thank you to Jeremy and Tinkham Road. They're, they're probably one of the best bands in Washington State, and they're kind of like a Pacific North Weird if they were a band. You know. Oh, well, wonderful. That's uh, quite magnanimous, magnanimous of them to do that for you, to get you down there. And uh, we will definitely look forward to hearing some of their music as well. That'll be wonderful. Yeah, hey, uh, they're wonderful. And and if I have time, I have one more little, or actually two more little things I want to throw out. Yeah, if you can do it in uh, about 45 seconds, we can do that. Absolutely. Um, I just started a very top secret uh, book assignment. Uh, I'm working with a uh, very good friend who's an illustrator, and we are working on a, a very special uh anthology of cryptids across the United States. Uh, I can't say too much about it, but uh, this is coming out uh, sometime next year, hopefully. Oh, very nice. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to be going to be a lot of fun. So I'm doing my first book, which is going to be great. Oh, it's and, about uh, time there. That, th- th- you would have a fantastic uh, a book if you were an author, so i got to look forward to that one. Yeah, we're, we're going to have a blast. Well, and, uh, oh, you got one yeah. more? Quick, go for uh, it. One, one more. I, I say that I ended the year perfectly uh, by uh, meeting a very, very wonderful girlfriend named Sabrina, who's kind of like the, the coolest uh, paranormal girlfriend one could ever have. Oh, my give her goodness. A, a shout out because she's probably listening right now. Oh, wonderful. Well, I've, I've seen you and her doing your Pacific North weird thing. Uh, online, so she is. She's very beautiful, and it sounds like she's just the perfect person here to to help you do whatever you do. So wonderful. Well, she's just a blast uh, for someone. Like, hey, it's Sunday morning. Let's go look for ghosts at Pike Place Market. Do that. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> well, listen, Vince Inzunza, thank you very much from Pacific North Weird for joining us one more time for this last recap of 2018. And buddy, we'll be looking forward to you. Uh, next week, I guess, in 2019. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, congratulations to you on um, your two-year anniversary. All right, buddy. Talk to you later. Bye, Michael.
You can advertise your business on Night Dreams Talk Radio, and you will be heard worldwide. Why not contact us at nightdreamstalkradio at gmail.com. Your Saturday, Night Dreams Talk Radio Network. Your host, the Paranormal Lawyer. That's me, Michael W. Hall, right here with you on Night Dreams Talk Radio at nightdreamstalkradio.com. Please tell your friends about us. Uh, We are uh, going to have an entire network here on the first part of the new year, 2019. We've got uh, five guest hosts uh, with all sorts of guests from the paranormal. We've got... uh, uh, UFOs and cryptids, and we've got conspiracy theories with Gary Tombstone Anderson five days a week. We're, we have shows now every night and day of the week on Night Dreams Talk Radio. So I hope you're going to be joining us for the new year as it comes along. Now, we have the next hour of our show uh, set aside for kind of a retrospective of the UFO I team. The folks that are out there, uh, boots on the grounds, doing the investigations uh, of UFOs and Bigfoots and uh, all sorts of even ghosts and and orbs and all those kinds of things. And what I'm going to do here is see how many people we have on the line from the UFO I-team. And we're going to start a little kind of like story of what's been going on for the last year or so with 2018. So let's uh, let's see who we have on the line. We have uh, 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 Lee Strauss on the line. Yes, you do. Oh, wonderful, Lee! Thank you for joining and thank you for hanging in there with us during the first hour of the show. There, I'm going to call and and just see if we have anybody else on the line there. And if you are on the line from the UFOI team, go ahead and tell us you're there. Trish here. Trish, Trish the Mystic. Oh, Tish is here. Wonderful. Okay, great. We've got Tish. We've got uh, we've got Lee, and uh, who else do we got? Well, we'll. Hi, try. guys. Can you hear me? This is Ray. Ray Leo. Oh, there you are, Yay. Ray. Hi, Ray. I was ho- I was hoping you were still there. Good. So we got uh, we got Lee. We got Tish. We got Ray. Uh, anybody else on the line? If you're a member of the UFO I-Team, what I'd like you to do is write down this phone number and please call in during this last hour of the show. And this is our call-in phone number, by the way. If anybody out there, um, a friend even of the UFO I-Team, or uh, if you're interested in this subject, feel free to write this phone number down and give us a call, and I will bring you into the discussions here. Uh, the number for calling in to uh, the Paranormal Lawyer Show on Night Dreams Talk Radio is 425 area code 329-3391. That's 425-329-3391. And I will give that out a couple more times as well for anybody who comes in a little bit late and would like to come in the show there. Well, uh, let's let's start with you there, Lee. How have you been, uh, and how are the holidays treating you this year? Well, holidays have been great. Um, just doing my normal thing. You know, the winter's kind of the downtime when you got a lot of clouds in the sky. So the only thing that I can hope to catch is um, things that actually come in uninvited. So that's what we've been doing lately, and there has been some action. Oh, there has been. All right, that's great. It's interesting to know. And you're you're the you're the uh, UFO I team's uh, intrepid um, uh, camera guy, uh, the mountain man that'll take the cameras right up to uh, ten thousand feet or more above and just get the uh, interesting stuff on tape. So um, we'll have to listen to hear some of the stuff that you're uh, telling us about sooner or later here in the next hour or so. But um, Uh, Thank you for giving us that info, and um, we will now talk with um, with uh, Tish. How are you? Are you on the line still, Tish? I'm here. Yes. Okay, great. And how were your holidays? Wonderful. A lot of family time. 
so that that's a happy time time for me. Well, wonderful. Yeah, you got to have some time off and got to enjoy the folks out yeah. there. So, um, yeah, lots of good food. Oh well, there you go. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and uh, uh, let's let's get into some of the. Uh, well, before we do that, we'll get Ray on the line, and then what we'll do is kind of do a little bit of talking about some of the interesting things that the UFO I team was in, were involved with here this last year. Um, Ray, are you still online as well? I'm right here. Yeah. Okay. How are you doing? How were the holidays for you? Excellent. Couldn't be better. I'm right now. I'm in the frozen tundra of Minnesota. And oh my! Oh my gosh! Chilly. But I am not wasting any time here. I have my eyes up to the sky, and I am collecting <laughs> stories for the new year. Oh, wonderful. You're always on the road, so that's wonderful. You've got some, some new leads out there of uh, got it. weird and paranormal, huh? you got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. So, um, you know what I thought we would do, we could do, is we could... Um, Start off with maybe the uh, beginning, and I'm going to try to get some more folks on the line here with us as well as we go through this, but uh, let's start with um, the beginning of the year and the Quinault Beach UFO Festival and tell the folks a little bit about um, how the UFO I-Team was involved with Johnny Manson and the Ocean Shores UFO Festival down there. Lee, you want to like lead off and kind of tell folks how that went for us? Well, that was pretty crazy. I mean, that was my first festival that I've ever gone to. So I didn't know what to expect. Um, but just the amount of people that were clamoring to talk with us afterwards, um, to hear our, our stories and, and all of that was, it was just amazing. And it seems like the community is a really good community. Like everybody seems to be, um, happy and, and grateful that, you know, you're willing to take time to speak with them about things and, it's that that's probably what most impressed me, I think. Yeah, and uh and Tish, I think you really enjoyed the festival as well. I remember uh your really well spoken uh talk uh in front of the group down there as well. Yeah, I, I was able to share my heart with it, about inner space and why it's so meaningful to me to have a connection uh telepathically and spiritually with our the beings uh, in other dimensions. But like Lee, Lee was saying, the people there, the community, everyone was so grateful that they had a place to talk about this story. It was like a big relief. And so it's like we're offering a service to people when we go out into the community. Yeah, I definitely got the feeling that, uh, you know, ever since that, uh, we're, it was kind of the beginning of the year. It was in March that we were there. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't that long after uh, that New York Times article hit uh, confirming the existence of UFOs for the first time in history. And I got the feeling that people were just wanting to talk about things. Uh, probably yeah. some of their sighting reports. I, I know we had a whole lot of folks that, you know, wanted to uh, even get their stories on tape with us. We got yeah, quite a right. few stories. Yep. 